What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing Lizzie. Lizzie is about the infamous murders of 1892 of the Barden family and this is also a psychological thriller of obscenes and also a biopic of some sort since it is based on true events. How true are these events? I don't know. I've never heard of these events until I've seen this film. But Lizzie does star Chloe Stravine. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. And also co-stars Kristen Stewart. Now, let me get this out there. I'm actually a big fan of Kristen Stewart so far. Ever since after the Twilight career, I think she's been pushing her career in the best possible way. You see her in Personal Shopper, she's fantastic. You see her in American Ultra, she's great. And every small role after Twilight, I feel like she's just gotten better and better. But come to my surprise, she's actually not the main character of this film, and our main lead is actually Chloe, who is playing Lizzie Borden. To give any pro to this film is the way that Chloe plays Lizzie Borden. She is superb. Tour de force performance and I'm here not even joking she captivates the audience in such a limelight way that I want to see more of her I've seen her appear in small roles here and there American Horror Story and some other notable things but really she's never had that tour de force performance where she sticks out solely but this film she steals the whole movie and gives one of the best performances of the year so that doesn't shine away from Kristen Stewart she's also exceptional in here playing this maid who who just has lots more layers to her and just the fear and disgust that you can see in her eyes the emotion that she brings to her character is just again amazing i think that's something that the director did very well in this film is bringing about these superb performances from Chloe and from Kristen. The other thing I have to say is that the way that the director decides to stylize and shoot half the film with the certain shots that he decided to take makes you feel like you're watching an old-fashioned movie from the 80s or 90s and I really appreciated that because you don't see a lot of films made in this particular style or even told in this particular style with the storytelling devices that they do use. And the script is brilliant. Every single line of dialogue is just hinged and hinged for you to listen to and understand this is a film that makes you want to listen makes you want to think and just again reminds you of like old hollywood type movies it feels like a silent era kind of film but without the silent aspect because the dialogue in here is superb but it's the way that the film is shot overall for some people that might seem a little bit boring to them but for me lizzie worked on all those levels i did have one complaint with lizzie that doesn't make it a masterpiece is the fact of the pacing within this film the pacing of this movie even though it has superb lighting superb shots superb acting and even awesome amazing dialogue my one issue with the movie comes with the pacing. The pacing feels very slow. And it's not that nice slow burn that I do think some directors can pull off. It doesn't feel like it warrants it. It doesn't feel like it needs it. And given this isn't like a high velocity action film, but I felt like there were some scenes that you could have cut out to build up to the pace. Obviously everything is building up to the thing that you all know that's going to happen by the end of the movie, but... It never got there in a f nice flowing manner, which is weird to say because like, even though the film looks so great and even though the direction for the actresses and actors in here were superb and even the script in here and the dialogue being so well written, it never felt like the story was structured in such a seamless manner. Maybe that's just me that felt that way, but that's my really my only big con with Lizzie. Again, even with those powerful performances and seriously a tour de force performance from Chloe, this is a film that is very hard for me to recommend. It's an indie film. I appreciate the indie film. I just felt like the story structure could have been structured a little bit better. I think even with the pacing issues, if you're a big fan of watching fantastic performances on the screen, I can recommend it in that whole heart. The film does carry some of the best performances of this year. And let me say this. The score in here is one of the most memorable scores I've heard this year so far. And that is the nice cherry on top of the cake with all that said i'm gonna give lizzie a b and not a masterpiece of a film in the pacing that really does drag down the movie but i still think there were some solid moments in here some from a tour de force performance from a great score and seriously some powerful shots and well-written dialogue i can't wait to hear your guys thoughts are so comment down below and tell me have you guys heard of lizzie are you excited for this film if not Tell me, are you now going to see it? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. If you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens and also check out some movie news and even some movie reviews. But of course, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this review and until next time, stay classy.